Hey everyone, Phil with Filmora. Welcome back to the YouTube marketing series. In this video, we're talking about the channel art, which is the channel header, the background banner at the top of your channel and your icon. So first let's talk about what these are, why they're important, and then we're going to be doing an actual walkthrough of the template that YouTube provides us designing our own channel art. So first, we need to understand why branding matters. Branding matters because it tells our story. It can help tell our story. And sometimes it can hurt our story as well. Using similar colors, similar imagery, similar icons and graphics, this will complete our story for a viewer. And that cohesiveness just makes it feel more professional and familiar. And we're trying to build that familiarity with our viewers. We're trying to build that community, that trust. If you have the same type of imagery in your channel art as in your videos themselves, people will feel that familiarity. You also want it to feel consistent with your other social media platforms or your website. So my key advice is to look at all of your social media platforms and make the channel banner similar. The channel icon or your profile pic on YouTube is also important. It shows up wherever you comment on a video. And so even though it's really small, people are going to see that. So you have to decide what do you want to show everywhere on YouTube. And one key question is, are you your brand? Are you a big part of your brand? I recently switched a little bit, I pivoted. I used to have my logo, and it wasn't even my logo for Video School Online, it was just the V of Video School Online as my icon. I switched it to a picture of me because I realized that after a few years, I was becoming more and more a part of the brand of Video School Online. People see me and Video School Online as one. And so I wanted to be a little bit more personal when I was responding to people's comments. And so just by having a picture of me seems to have done that. People see that in all the comments and they can see that it's me, a human responding or chatting with them in the comments. Again, building that engagement and interaction as humans and not just as numbers in YouTube. So you have to ask yourself, are you a big enough a part of your brand to be your channel icon? Let's dive into the templates so that I can walk you through how you use them because YouTube gives us some Photoshop templates and you can also use canva.com, a great tool for creating free graphics. So first let's start with canva.com. Canva.com, if you don't know about it, is a great resource for designing your own custom graphics. When you sign up for Canva and you've designed different graphics, you can see all of the projects you've worked for right here. But when you haven't created any projects, you'll see that they have a number of templates up at the top. So just click on more over here so we can get to the YouTube channel art template. Scroll down to social media and email headers and click on YouTube channel art. You can see that it has the right pixel width and height for your channel. Once it's open, you can choose any of these layouts over here to use to get started. So say I wanna click on this one, then I can customize it. Play around, you can click on the text, you can click on the images, you can change the background, add more text, add your own photos by uploading over here and then editing. It's like any typical editor. You can double click on things, you can move things around, resize. The only thing I don't like about using Canva is that you can't really tell where your channel art is going to appear. If you go to your channel, it doesn't look like this. It's not the right size. And that's because this full size only appears when people are viewing your channel on a device like an Apple TV or Google Chromecast. Most times, only the center part, the center strip, will appear in the channel art. And that's why I like using the templates that YouTube does provide for us. But if you don't have Photoshop, you can customize this, you can move things around, you can add the elements and the text that they have here. They even have free photos if you wanna use free photos. And then just download it by clicking the download button. I would save it as a JPEG, JPG image and you can upload it to YouTube and see how it looks. And then you'll have to adjust things, you might have to resize things then. 
but I'm going to switch from Canva to using the templates that YouTube provides. So if you go to your channel, the easiest way to get to those templates is by clicking on the edit channel art button right here. Then down here, you can click how to create channel art. This takes you to a video which will explain how to do it. And it will also have templates. So it has the guidelines for what size you want it to be. And then it has these templates. Click on channel art templates and download it. Unzip that file and you'll find your Photoshop file and a PNG. The PNG is something that you can import into any graphic editor that you have and it's an overlay so you can see here what is in the logo safe area, what shows up on TV, what shows up on the tablet, or what shows up on the desktop Mac when people have the YouTube browser opened up and stretched as wide as it can go. When you open it up in Photoshop, you're going to get something like this. Well, not like this because I've already edited this, but you'll get something that looks more like this. So just like the PNG that we saw, and now you can add your photos, you can add text so that it looks how you want it to look. For me, I added a photo, but I also added a little black overlay in the background at a low opacity so that it makes the text stand out. So this is my channel art for Video School Online Tech. I used an image that goes along with the theme of the channel. I also have a little subtitle that explains what the channel is all about because just VSO Tech doesn't really explain what that means. Photo, video, gear, reviews, and toots, tutorials. That's what this channel is about and I think it comes across clearly. You wanna make sure that when you save your image, you hide the overlay image because if not this is going to show up on your channel art itself once you're done editing your channel art go back to your channel and you can upload just by clicking the little edit button edit channel art you could upload your photo or if you have something already uploaded to your Google account you can choose it there you can see some of my past channel artwork right here one with my face on it but I took out my face once I changed my profile icon to my own profile image so by now you know how to design your own channel art and you know the background of what you should be doing so the action item for this tutorial is to go and do it create the channel art for your channel and you might already have some but think about it make sure that it aligns with everything we've talked about in this lesson and if you have to do a redesign thanks for watching and in the next video in the series we're taking another pivot and we're learning about collaboration and how to collaborate with other people on youtube to help grow your channel it's really one of the best ways for massive and fast growth